This is just a quick demonstration of the oil pressure the 5.4 three valve stock engine will hold with a stock oil pump. And this oil pressure gauge is tapped at the rear of the passenger cylinder head at the oil galley plug, where um, it's quite a distance from the oil pump and filter. So the way I did this was I turned off the motor while it was running. And before the oil had a chance to drain all the way back out of the system, I quickly snapped the ignition back on, holding my foot to the floor to disable the fuel injectors. Turn it off. Foot to the floor. It only so you can pretty much see that the um, 5.4 holds five pounds maximum with a starter RPM only. Also note, had I turned off the uh, motor and let it sit a minute before I tried this little test and let the oil drain out of the system, which I've tried before this and holding the foot to the floor and holding the starter and the oil pressure alone from the starter will never make it up to the passenger side cylinder head. By the time it gets up to the crank and, and, and the bleed off is just too much, you would probably kill the starter before it would actually reach up there. So it is nice to know after an oil change, you can actually put a new filter and hold your foot to the floor and, and crank it over. And you know that five pounds will be more than enough to fill the filter full of oil to prime it uh, before your first start. As an example of this, um, I have a clip here of a guy turning over his engine with the starter only to show a blown gasket in the back of his tensioner on the driver's side. So just to show you that the oil does make it up into the front part of the motor and probably the front part of the head, no problem. Just take a look at this clip. And this was just with the starter RPM only. So in conclusion, I would say, seeing we have a good constant 5 PSI oil pressure, we might as well put it to good use. And instead of trying to prime the oil filter and turning it sideways on this 5.4 and have the oil leaking all over the place, trying to screw it back on, take the 5 PSI and use it to your advantage and um, prime the oil filter with a starter. And having a good quality anti-drain back valve uh, in these filters is really important also, especially for a sideways mounted oil filter. And that valve will keep the oil in place when the engine is off. And uh, hopefully the oil would not drain back into the pan, but kind of stay in the filter where you need it. So when you start the next time, it's there um, right away. I guess I should mention on a side note, if you've seen my other video that was posted about using this long start to try to get oil flowing into the system to help prevent the startup rattle for those that don't have the cast iron uh, tensioners with a ratchet mechanism. Um, this demonstrates that the passenger side will most likely not get any oil. However, um, the rotation of the chain may help, you know, in, in, in getting the re tension relieved off that tensioner. But if it remains collapsed, it's going to probably rattle upon startup. I guess that's the chance we take by not upgrading to the cast iron tensioners.